Well, crews are putting the final touches for ESPN's college game day. Home base will be outside the south entrance of Jack Trice Stadium, same as two years ago. They built part of the set and figured out other puzzle pieces to ensure a flawless broadcast. Last time, some people showed up at 2 a.m. to get into the game day area. Well, this is the first time the Cyhawk showdown that both teams are in the top 10 in America. The players are the stars, but the coaches deserve a lot of props as well. It's a battle for the ages and kind of of the ages. Kirk Ferentz is in his 23rd year as Iowa's head coach. No current coach in the entire country has done it longer in one spot. But six-year ISU head coach Matt Campbell has some impressive credentials under his belt, too. He's already a three-time Big 12 coach of the year. Both of them have mad respect for one another, which makes the rivalry even better. They're not only a talented team, but very experienced. And, and on, you know, on top of that, really well coached. Uh, since, certainly since Coach Campbell and you know, his staff have gotten into uh, to Ames, you know, they've just done a wonderful job building a great program. And uh, I think we've all witnessed that last year and over the years, but certainly last year. I think one of the things that you look at their team, they, they know how to win games. They know who they are. They understand their identity. And to be able to win <laughs> over an extended period of time and sustain success, my, my, there's a sincere respect factor for any coach that's got the ability to do that. Well, the Iowa State Athletic Department says a glitch froze the online sales of public parking passes. And by the way, public parking passes are now completely sold out. But Iowa State says much of the parking on campus will be open and free to the public. So Cyride buses will then take you to Jack Trice Stadium and back after the game.